Just because you like watching TV at the end of the night doesn't mean you have to be a complete couch potato. I like watching TV at the end of the night too, but it's also my time to slip in a few exercises so I can burn a couple extra calories, especially after a big dinner. So I have created a total body TV circuit that allows me to both burn calories and keep watching TV. And it starts with marching in place. This is one of my favorite things to do when I'm watching TV because really, do you need to just sit there like a lug on the sofa? Just march in place. You're burning some calories. You're getting your knees up high so you're engaging your butt. You're rotating your, your torso so you're getting your abs in there. You're moving your arms. You can even punch it out so it's more intense. And I just march for an entire commercial or for 10 minutes however long I feel like it. Then, jumping jacks. Basic. If you want to take the jumping jacks to the next level, do macho jacks. So you're engaging your abs, your legs, your butt, your arms, still watching TV. You don't have to take your eyes off that TV. Then air jacks, which are even more intense jumping jacks, because you get serious cardio. You're firing your muscles. It's completely exhaustive. Then, I'd like to do seated dips. So, you're gonna rest your hands on something sturdy, end of the sofa, coffee table, and you're just gonna dip down, making sure that you don't allow the tops of your arms to go any lower than your elbows. You really feel this in your triceps. Engage your abs, keep your butt as close to the side as possible, because if you push your butt out, then you're actually gonna strain your shoulders and you don't wanna do that. I do 25, it's tough. Then, I like to do the seated leg lift. So, get onto the sofa and sit up straight and lift one leg up and then the next. You feel this in your quads and your abs because make sure that you are engaging your abs the whole time. Then after this, is resting boat, which has nothing to do with resting. So you're gonna get into boat pose, which is you're balancing on your butt. Have your legs up, legs straight. You're engaging your abs. And then you're gonna cross your hands behind your back. So one hand is on each shoulder blade, opposite shoulder blades. And you're gonna rest back just a little. It's really great on the abs. You feel this all over your entire ab area, your obliques, your side abs, and also your legs. It's really intense and you just hold for a minute if you can. <sighs> then, during commercial breaks, I do plank. So you don't need to look at the TV now, right? So plank is the top of a push-up. You're engaging your abs, your butt, your thighs, your arms, your back, your shoulders, your chest and hold if you can for an entire commercial. Most commercials are about 30 seconds. So if you're not exhausted after one commercial, try a second. Then flip over for reverse plank. You can do this one while you're watching TV. So it's the same as plank, but opposite with your chest up. You're gonna, again, engage your abs, your legs, your butt. And if you wanna punch this one up, do reverse plank dips. So you're just gonna dip down, get your triceps going here a really good one and then hold another way to punch this one up is to raise one leg this way you're getting your hamstrings to fire hamstrings are the back of the thighs and if you have strong hamstrings it helps to push your butt up so it also helps to make a good butt then if you can repeat the whole circuit and do it until you're exhausted and by the end of the show 30 minutes or an hour show even more, you will be sweating and you will have gotten your full total body cardio and resistance workout in.